In this example, for clear analysis, we're going to do an AP lumbar non-scoliosis. So what I'm going to do is I can clearly see 12, 11, 10 very well. So I'm just going to go ahead and uncheck T9 and T8 and do uh, T10. So we're going to go ahead, I'm going to hit the lateral body margin, and we're going to do the tip of the spinous. Remember, it projects low on AP lumbar. And then let's blow this up a little bit. Okay. And it's this simple. Remember, this is a non-scoliosis view. Blow this up a little bit more. Blow this down. Okay, so when we get to transition areas, we want to hit like points. Now, for like points, I'm going to go ahead here, and then we're going to do the tip of the spinous here. And then we're going to do sacral base. And I'll do the sacral base as best we can over here. Then what we're going to do is we're going to hit the S2 tubercle, which for here, let's go ahead and let me zoom out here. Go down so we can see a little better. Move over just a little bit here. There we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and just estimate there. Now, once I put the lines on the film, if I need to go back and change the apex, say if I want to do, say, L2, change the stress, notice how it changed the red line and the values. Okay, so remember in the AP views, you always have this stress vertebra. Watch, I'm going to change it to L4. Notice how it changed the red line. Let me go back to L2. That does the best fit for that analysis. Now, if I could clearly see up through here, I could digitize a little bit higher if I wanted to. If I wanted to go back, I would just go ahead and just click T9, and then I could come back in and do T9 there, and then see how that looked, see how it came up. So with that said, that is how to do the analysis of an AP lumbar non-scoliosis view in clear technique for posture.